Terry, I'm sorry about what happened today. You should be. I didn't think you were that kind of guy, Brian. You're unbelievable. I just had a lot of fun on our date, that's all. I won't try to kiss you again. I've told you before, right? I don't want a sexual relationship with you, Brian. Yeah, I know. But today I gave you an engagement ring. And you linked arms with me, so I got a little carried away. Linking arms isn't an invitation to kiss. I wouldn't have done it if I realized you tried to kiss me, Brian. Please don't say that. I've told you time and time again. I'm an asexual romantic, so I won't get physical even with my partners. I thought you told me that you understand. Yeah, I'm sorry. It was all my fault. Please don't feel too bad. Whatever. Why don't you go crying to that female co-worker of yours again? It's not like that between me and Darcy. Hmm. Well, it sure sounds like you're close from what you tell me. It's nothing deep. We just know each other from work. Co-workers, huh? If that's all she is to you, would you really discuss my asexuality with her? You're so insensitive, Brian. I'm sorry. I won't discuss it with her anymore. That's right, you won't. Didn't she tell you not to get married to me? Well, not exactly. She just said to think about it carefully before getting married officially. Think about what? Well, like if I want kids. I'll just be happy to have you by my side, Terry. But Darcy's just worried that we plan on getting married after only six months together. Worried? She's just jealous. She's over 30 and single, right? Well, yeah, but... She just doesn't want her co-worker who's the same age to get married before her. Really? Brian, I'm still mad at you. Huh? But I've apologized lots of times. Apologizing isn't enough for me right now. Then what do you want me to do? That handbag I was looking at today. I really want it. But it's going to cost a lot to move house next week. And you said today that you were satisfied with just the ring. That was before you hurt me. It's your fault that I changed my mind. Have you forgotten I still just work at a hardware store? I'm spending a lot these days, so money's getting tight. Then what about my feelings? You really surprised me back there, in a bad way. Look, I'm really sorry that I broke my promise to you. It won't happen again. I thought you understood me better, Brian. I'm worried about us living together in the future. You're right. I'm really sorry. I'll make it up to you. I'll get you that handbag to say sorry and as an engagement present. Really? Yay, thank you. Then I forgive you. I love you, Brian. I love you too, Terry. I'm glad we could make up. I feel like singing for the first time in a while. <laughs> That brings back memories to when you were a singer. I still haven't quit. We're just on hiatus right now. I'm just recharging because our agency said a break was convenient for them. Yeah, that was it. I wasn't particularly into pop music before. But then I happened to see you on stage near work. I was inspired by you chasing your dreams, Terry. That's why I support you and your singing career. Thanks. I just want to check just in case. It's not happening even if we move in together. Huh? Don't you get it? I'm asexual, so I don't want you touching me in future either. I know. Married life doesn't have to be all about the physical side of things. Yep, I agree. 
So, I just want to check something just in case, too. I asked you before. I don't mind the no-touching thing, so let's get married, Terry. Thanks for understanding. I love that about you, Brian. That's not an answer, lol. Oh, time for me to go to bed. Really? Already? I'm past 25 now, so I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> That's still young. You've got a baby face, so you can still pass as 20. But I have to maintain this look. It's important for my career to stay looking beautiful. Okay then, lol. Good night. Good night. Hey, Brian, what time does the moving truck come tomorrow? It's coming to my place first at 8, so it'll probably get to yours around 9.30. Brian, you don't exactly have a lot of clothes and things. Will it really take one hour to pack everything? <laughs> You're right, I don't have a lot, but there's furniture and appliances. Huh? Brian, are you really planning to use your old stuff from your bachelor life? Yeah, we can still use it all fine. Didn't we talk about this before? We did, yeah. But I bought everything new online. What? What do you mean, everything? So, sofa, wardrobe, washing machine, microwave. But none of my stuff is exactly old. But your furniture is so dull. I want bright colors at our new place. And I want a dryer on the washing machine and a microwave grill. But did you have to buy it all at once? What about payment? They said they'll accept checks. It's all coming tomorrow morning. Terry, you need to discuss this sort of thing with me first. But why? I'm the one who's going to be spending more time at home, Brian. If I'm staying at home, I should get to make the decisions. That's true, but we should have bought them over time rather than splurging all at once. What are you saying? You want me to use second-hand furniture in our new home? But... You really should have discussed it before just buying. I could have gotten a discount at my store for appliances. But if I spoke to you first, it would have taken longer. I didn't think we'd make it for the day we move in. But I don't have that much savings left. That's a lie. You told me how much you had in your account the other day. I thought it was fine because you have plenty of savings. I mean, I did have a decent amount saved because I was single until past 30. But we'll need money for all sorts of things in the future. In the future? For example, what if one of us gets sick or hurt? I don't exactly have the best insurance. We don't have to worry about that. Don't have to worry? Buying all new stuff for a house is a pretty big purchase. I think it's something we should have worked out together. Also, shouldn't we go over and tell your parents we're engaged now? Really, I wanted to do that before we moved in together. I said we don't have to worry. I've completely cut them out of my life. They took all my earnings as a singer from me when I was in my teens. I don't even think of them as my parents anymore. You say that, but... Shouldn't you at least introduce me to them? No need. Really, you worry too much. I think it's something important to worry about. You don't need to meet them before we get married. I don't even need a wedding. Let's just use the money for after we get married. I think that's a much smarter way of using our money. Well, I guess if you're going to dig your heels in, I can meet your parents another time. I suppose it's fine. But I did want to introduce you to my parents, Terry. Hmm. I'll think about it. Yeah, do think about it. Aren't you thinking about all this a little too much, Brian? 
We're about to merge our lives together, so it's important that we get everything sorted from the beginning. Of course I think about it. It's not enough for us to want to be together. Well, not exactly, but... It just makes me feel better. Well, fine. I get it. I look forward to our new life starting tomorrow. Pleasure doing business with you. Huh? What is that? Hmm? What's wrong? <laughs> you kind of ruined the mood. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it too. Yep. Terry! Where are you? I can't find you anywhere. Hey, Brian. How was work? Don't change the subject. Where are you, Terry? Oh, yeah. Actually, I was thinking... I don't think I can marry you, Brian. Huh? huh? What happened to the new furniture and appliances? All the new stuff is gone. Where did you take it? Oh, about that. That's all stuff that I picked out, so I thought you don't like it, Brian. I got it all carried out of here this afternoon. And my checkbook? The checkbook I was using for our family finances are gone. I'm taking it for my alimony. Huh? Alimony? For what? For breaking our engagement. What the hell are you talking about? Did I do something? Don't play dumb. You cheated on me. What? You've been real friendly with her lately. Her? Darcy, was it? You're eating lunch together these days, right? Huh? huh? We're not doing anything intimate. We've both been put in charge of the promotion for a new product. So we were having lunch meetings. I wasn't cheating. Hmm. Are you sure? Wait a minute. How do you know this, Terry? It's not as if you have much business in that area, so I don't think you happen to pass by. My friend told me. But Terry, you've never introduced me to any of your friends. Why would one of your friends recognize me as your fiancé? Hey, none of that matters. Don't try to deflect from the issue of your unfaithfulness. That account with the checkbook won't cover my alimony, so make sure you pay me more. This is ridiculous. I was just having lunch with my co-worker. I wasn't cheating, and I'm not paying alimony. We're not even married. Maybe you're the one who's got another man, Terry. Oh, gross. You're just projecting your own cheating onto me. You jerk. You really hurt me. Enough. I know the truth. And that whole asexuality thing. It's a lie, isn't it? What do you mean? It's not a lie. Why would I do that? Do you have any proof? I do. What is it? There's no way to prove something like that. Pregnancy test. Does that ring any bells? Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, you know. I saw it in the garbage. Really now? Oh, you're going through all garbage? Gross. You should have thrown it away properly if you didn't want me to see. You leave all your trash and clothes everywhere. I've been giving you money these last two months because you said you would do the housework. But you haven't lifted a finger, have you? You're just a pot-bellied hardware store nerd. You should be grateful that you shared the house with me for two whole months. I gave you a happy time, so you owe me. You're really amazing. So, why are you pregnant? It must have been the kissing. What? What do you even mean? I'm the same as Mother Mary. Virgin birth, I guess. Lol. See, that one time you kissed me. 
So the stork must have been confused and brought a child to the wrong house. I think you've mocked me enough. I'm not mocking you. I always say that I love that about you, Brian. That simple side of you. <laughs> Who's the father? I think you've always had another man around, and you've just been lying to me. All that furniture you ordered then just took. And when I was being watched so you could pretend I was cheating. Maybe it was that guy who helped you with all that. Really? Would I lie to you? Of course not. You're the father, Brian. But I'm asexual, so that's all the reason for me to leave someone who would cheat on me and get physical with someone else. So, I guess it's not alimony. More like child support. Make sure you pay me every month. You have some nerve. Are you trying to scam me? I'll take you to court. Sure, why don't you go ahead? I think it'll be pretty hard to prove I scammed you. Try it if you think you can win, though. But there's clearly something wrong here. Anybody can see that it's fraud. I didn't actually say even once that I'd get married. You just misunderstood my intentions, so you gave me money and bought me stuff. It was all just one-sided, and I never really agreed to anything. How can you say that? I was on hiatus from my singing career, so you helped me out a lot as a friend. But then you suddenly started making advances on me. I told you not to touch me because I didn't share those feelings for you. Why? Doesn't it almost sound like I didn't give consent for your physical advances? Did your other guy tell you to do all this? If I didn't find out about the pregnancy... You'd make up some story about me cheating. But if I did, you'd try to blame me for not getting your consent. Was that your plan all along? Plan? I don't have a clue what you're talking about, Brian. <laughs> Just make sure you pay me every month. I'm not paying you a dime. In fact, give it all back. The checkbook, the appliances, the furniture, the ring... Really? Are you sure you want to go down that road? If you don't pay, a big scary man might come mess up your hardware store. Now you're threatening me? I can't believe you. Cheating and then calling off the engagement? Or non-consensually getting a singer pregnant? Neither is a great look for you, Brian! <laughs> Well, I'll be waiting for your payment next month. Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> hey, you. What the hell did you do? Terry, it's been a while. You didn't pick up my calls all those times. What do you want? There's a police car outside my house. Did you call the cops on me? I said I'll take you to court. I seem to remember telling you clearly, lol. <laughs> Listen, you don't know a thing. Marriage fraud is hard to prove. Without proper evidence, you're just a dumbo who misunderstood. If you cause all this trouble, it's going to be difficult for you at work. That's true. But only without proper evidence, right? Huh? I know everything. The man that you're living with is your music agency's manager, right? How did you know? I hired a private investigator. He looks like he's been charged with all sorts. Mostly fraud-related, I guess. Impersonation, refund fraud, and marriage fraud. So? He was charged but not convicted. His record is clean. I know. It seems like he's been careful not to get caught up until now. But it looks like he slipped up because of you, Terry. Huh? It's my fault? It wasn't just me, was it? You've been using the same tactics multiple times to dupe fans of yours, right? I didn't dupe anyone. 
Everyone just spent money on me without me asking. You might think you're safe because you didn't organize a prenup or a wedding. There's records of us living together and me buying you the ring. Even if it's not on paper, that constitutes engagement. And you use my checkbook to buy stuff, didn't you? Oh, I was just borrowing that. But you didn't pick up the phone, did you? They see that as avoiding paying me back. No. I don't want to be caught. I'm pregnant, don't you remember? You got an abortion, didn't you? Nice try appealing to my humanity. But I've done my research, so don't pull that on me. I did hesitate when I thought about the child. But now I don't have any reservations about getting you behind bars. Wait, you love me, right? Uh, then I'll be your wife. If we get married, will you drop the charges? You know, this isn't just about me. All the fans that you betrayed are charging you. All the fans? Why? Why? I'm sure you know perfectly well why, lol. Are you going to marry all of them? <laughs> you have a lot of charges against you, so it looks like you'll be going away for some time. <laughs> I can't believe you'd do this to me. My boyfriend won't let this slide. What a shame for you. He's probably getting arrested as well right about now. What? Oh, and did you know? I've been told that your man got involved with the lead singer of the latest band on their agency. And she got pregnant. <laughs> huh? Did you really think that you could trust a lying scumbag like that to scam other people? <laughs> Isn't it ironic that you were tricking all these guys, but you couldn't see him doing the same to you? There's no way I got tricked. Stop making it up. You know, I actually did start to like that hideous furniture you bought for us. But I think you're better off with it. It suits you way more than it suits me. Huh? It's also my fault for getting tricked by you. I guess I didn't know anything about the real you, Terry. I love you, Brian. I'll stay with you till we die. Did you really think I was being serious? I'll make sure you pay for your crimes. What? Even if it takes a long time, you'll pay all of us back. Pleasure doing business with you, Lamau. After that, I tried to find more victims of Terry's, but there were more than I thought. She was convicted of 14 counts of marriage fraud. She was imprisoned, along with the manager. Terry owes her victims more than $250,000 in total. As for me... I thought I'd forget romance for a while and focus on work. But Darcy confessed her feelings to me the other day. She saw how I was being manipulated by Terry because of my lack of relationship experience. She started having feelings for me after discussing my love life together. I didn't want to rush into anything while I'm still healing. But I'm really glad that Darcy feels this way about me, even after seeing my vulnerable side. I'm thinking I should take it steady for now. I'm planning to go for lunch with Darcy this weekend. I'm slowly getting more excited because I think we could have some genuine happy times together. <laughs>